The most recent episode of Hell of a Boss really recontextualized Season 2, particularly Luna, whose entire backstory is not just changed, but presents us with a new dramatic twist that she may have been adopted once before Blitz took her in. The earliest we see of Luna is at the Hellhound Adoption Agency where Blitz first found her. Blitz said he was looking for someone who was family-friendly, which indicates that he didn't actually come here to adopt Luna as a child, but rather to adopt someone to use as an employee at his upcoming business. Imps are considered the lowest of the low, with Hellhounds somehow managing to be one step below them in the culture because of the Hellhound adoption system that seems to be a strong part of the gluttony ring. It's been indicated that virtually none of these adoptions are done out of love, and at best, a hellhound can expect to be a pet with human sentience to other demons. Hellhounds are generally referred to like property or pets, as something possessed by the other demons, even an imp like Blitz. Veroska refers to Vortex as her hellhound, the same way Millie refers to Luna as their hellhound in episode 1 of the series proper, while doing target practice with Moxie. It's not until Blitz sees Luna and just how traumatized she is that I think he changed his tune and suddenly wanted a daughter as opposed to a worker, but I think Luna had already been burned before, and that's a large reason why she wouldn't put up with Blitz's attempt at having a real family with her. In this lost episode that's meant to take place at the end of season 1, we got introduced to Vicky, a mean girl's parody of a hellhound whose clothes and jewelry indicate that she was adopted into a pretty high-class demon family. She appears to be adopted, and not just with her own wealthy family, because she is talking specifically about playing fetch, and the tricks her owners play on her, only pretending to throw something before telling her to go fetch it. It's mostly implied that Luna and Vicky know each other from her previous partying adventures, which is weird because Luna is supposedly not really getting out much, which is the whole reason why Vortex invited her in the first place. As proof, though, Vicky has photos of Luna throwing up and refers to her as lunatic because of her behavior. Despite this backstory, Vicky says something very heavy to Luna that implies a very different connection between the two. Vicky claims she kept the photo of Luna puking because it brings her joy, and that you're supposed to keep things that bring you joy, which appears to be an insult thrown at Luna. Vicky, with her wealth and playing fetch, appears to be adopted as well, so this is not parental abandonment that Vicky is talking about, as she'd only be insulting herself. Instead, this implies that Luna had already been adopted once by a demon family, but was abandoned again. By the time Blitz got to Luna, she seems to have not just spent a life in the pound, but actually lived with another family for a while. It's possible that while living with the family, she would go to parties and end up meeting Vicky, but it's also possible they came from the exact same family. Vicky seems more like a rich person's kind of hellhound, but perhaps they had adopted Luna as well as maybe even a few other hellhounds for various reasons. Luna had a bad attitude in general and probably wasn't very happy about getting adopted even into a nice family, as she saw herself as just a pet as opposed to a real person the way the other demons see themselves. When we see her at the pound in Blitz's flashback from Season 2 Episode 2, she's really traumatized, not just from the horrible conditions of the pound and the dangerous hellhounds there, but because she'd been abandoned by her parents and an adoptive family already. She likely had no faith that anyone who adopted her would want anything more than a cheap worker, and perhaps working for Blitz at the office really made her feel that way about him. Blitz is, of course, a lot more kind than the average demon would be, and when he saw how hurt Luna was, he seemed to want to make a real effort to make her feel loved. Working at the office was something he likely wanted out of a hellhound to begin with, as I already theorized, but now he would rationalize that it was the best way to develop a father-daughter bond, and to keep an eye on her so she's not just roaming the streets while he's on the job. To balance this out, he even gives Luna her own room, despite him only having a one-bedroom apartment. Because of this, he sleeps on the couch in the living room, as we can see in episode 7 and 8. Luna made it clear in episode 3 that some part of her doesn't think the adoption can mean anything no matter how much Blitz wants it to, because she was basically an adult when he finally adopted her. This mindset is actually more tragic than insulting, because it says very little about Blitz's own feelings, which can be really genuine. Instead, it makes it clear that Luna's trauma is that she missed out on a chance of having a real childhood. If he had adopted her as a puppy, she may very well have grown up happy and healthy, quickly letting go of the struggle she faced and just getting to actually grow up with a parent. But by the time Blitz got to her, she had already resigned herself to just waiting out the clock at the pound and just running off to do whatever it is hellhounds do when no one wanted to adopt them for so long. Without this episode, a lot of Season 2 felt a little out of place, particularly Luna's defense of Blitz in the Hollywood episode when trying to console Octavia. 
Blitz's own flashback to adopting Luna seems a lot less out of place after the events of this episode, which ended with Blitz being afraid that he'd die alone, and Luna promising that she would just be there, around in his life when that time comes. With that in mind, Blitz's already strong feelings of fatherhood were validated, and it activated a part of him that wasn't there before. Previously, he just wanted to make Luna love him. It isn't that he doesn't also want what is best for her, but by acknowledging herself as his daughter through promising to be there until he dies, Blitz takes on a more instinctual father role, one that comes with a deep need to protect as opposed to just love. This was further helped by Luna literally calling Blitz her dad when cheering him on at Beelzebub's party. This wasn't exactly sincere behavior on her part, as she was just trying to brag and get some clout off of Blitz's accomplishments of beating Bielze at her own game. Earlier in the episode, she used this kind of manipulation to get Blitz to stay for the party. She clearly just wanted to talk to the handsome Hellhound fellow, and couldn't politely do that while sending Blitz home after he came down to Gluttony to pick her up. When someone seems to recognize Blitz from his past, she uses that as a way to convince him to stay, appealing to his narcissism and acting like it will be an interesting bonding experience for them, a way for her to get to know him better. In the end, she did get to know him better and actually seems to appreciate him more for his flaws than his attempts to be a good dad. While Blitz's attempts at love can be very shallow, his flaws reveal his true motivations. Blitz is a complex character with a desire to be loved, and like with most people, that just ends with him not wanting to be alone when he dies. We can think quite a lot about dying alone and what that means, how you can spend so much time and effort in a relationship just for it to end and for you to still ultimately die alone, how even just being there for another person as they pass away can mean that they won't be there for you in the final years of your own life. It's a desire to just not be alone, to start building something that feels stable so that when the time comes, you know who will be around you and what that time will be like. And even if you weren't exactly happy for all the years of building that relationship, you can learn to appreciate what stayed around until the end. Luna probably has a similar fear, and unlike Blitz, she doesn't have a childhood with at least one loving parent the way Blitz seemed to have with his mother. Luna's place is a bit tragic in this because she didn't get that, but she decided to be there for Blitz anyways, choosing to appreciate him at the end of the day for being someone who actually wants her around. After a lifetime of being abandoned by her parents and then by another family, the last thing she expected was for someone, even a broken someone like Blitz, to just want her to be there for the rest of his life. To her, life was about people not wanting you at all and abandoning you. But what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and I'll see you next time.